what I'm seeing will never be the same as what someone else sees. So I think that's really exciting that there's a little bit of mystery, even when I'm making something. I do have a vision disability. Um, I've always been nearsighted as a kid, and I've had to go on, I've had to go through many many uh, prescription lenses. They've had to keep upping the prescription every year because my vision would get worse. We never really knew why. I just feared. I was very nearsighted, and it. However, recently, um, this past year, I have developed a blind spot in the center of my vision. Um, and after seeing specialists about it, they determined that I what I have is actually achromatopsia, which is a form of color blindness. I'm not color blind. I'm just color confused sometimes. Certain colors don't pick up well with me, and this blind spot is right in the center of my focus, so I've lost uh, visual acuity in the center of my vision. And it's the same size, uh, whether I'm up close or far away. So it's just a small blind spot when I'm looking at things up close, but farther away, further away, it's taking up all of that. So I'm, I'm at the point where I'm legally blind now because I can't see more than, you know, 10 feet in front of me. I have a hard time color matching. So rather than trying to get the exact color of something that I want, I, I like to play around with color mixing. I, I take a bunch of colors and just see what they do to each other. And sometimes it can be really fun because there's all kinds of new and unexpected ways that colors could transform each other. And when they're next to each other on a canvas, they can feed off of each other. And you can really make a lot of pieces different and unique. I have been named a CSU Merit Art Merit Scholar, which means the next year, uh, this uh, 2021 to 2022, I will, most of my classes will be paid for. If, uh, I'm a, be a full-time student, and in the spring, I'll be able to install my own art show here at the galleries among my fellow Art Merit Scholars. I drew a lot as a kid, uh, but I don't count the, you know, just doodling and drawing and notebooks and stuff. It was when I started going to school and taking art classes that I realized like, I love doing this.